Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks for you. Welcome to my channel. Today, we are making a super simple, fantastically easy pan au chocolat. Now, what does that mean? I'm sure I'm not saying it right, I'm probably botching it. What it means is chocolate bread. Does that sound tasty? Well, not when you think of American bread, it does not. But when you think of a delicious croissant, it is absolutely spectacular. They're usually warm and you open them up and the chocolate just oozes out of them and they are incredible. The problem is, is that you have to make croissants and um, I'm not gonna probably make croissants. I mean, I make a lot of things, but not a croissant. So how I came up with this was I was at Costco and I was looking for something for this gathering I was having at the house and I was already making some meatballs and I wanted something simple and the croissants are not only simple but cheap. Five bucks for 12 of these bad boys. So what I did, simple. I took a bread knife, use a bread knife because they do kind of crunch, um, you know, smush really easy. I cut it in half like so. I took something thin, like uh, this is a chopstick, and I just went around in a circle and kind of opened up a hole. You know, because these are so fluffy, there's lots of air in there for you to open up a hole that easy. Then I put a few chocolate chips. Now I was using the special dark Hershey's um, whatever you like. I like darker chocolate and these were on sale. So, and that's probably like two tablespoons worth, just like that. And then to bake them, I put them back like this to bake them so that the chocolate would not come out. And it worked absolutely perfect. 350 degrees for about 10 to 15 minutes. And oh my gosh, these are absolutely incredible. They ooze chocolate absolutely delicious you can put as much chocolate in as as you want i mean you can make that hole a little bigger but really about two tablespoons but make sure when you're putting your chopstick or your sharp utensil down get it all the way to down here so you get chocolate way down at the bottom because you don't want a boring last bite you want a good last chocolatey bite and then so they'll Go all the way down and you can like push them down in there too to help you. Oh, it's absolutely spectacular. So let's put these in the oven and I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Our beautiful delicacies look amazing. <laughs> it was so simple, two ingredients. I didn't do anything but cut a croissant and open a bag of chips and turn on an oven. I mean, how simple is that? Okay, I'm gonna take a bite, and it's gonna be just a big mess, so just, it is what it is, right? I mean, when you're looking at that flaky dough. Mm. Wow. So flaky. These are even day old croissants. And when you put them in the oven, man, they seem like they're fresh. Absolutely spectacular. Try these chocolate croissants or a pan au chocolat or chocolate au pan, I can't remember. <laughs> it's chocolate and croissants and it is amazing. Thanks for watching Kathy Cooks for you. Please subscribe below. I'd love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment. And tell me how you like to eat your croissants.